Local internet star shot in broad daylight. Rasheen Bailey is known by many as hood fishing on Instagram and TikTok. He's recovering after being shot multiple times in Fort Myers. Tonight, Bailey's comment section is flooded with support and people questioning why someone would shoot him. One person even wrote, why would bro even have enemies? A Wink News first told you about the shooting last night as breaking news happened at the intersection of MLK and Michigan Avenue. You can see all the police activity there. Our crews saw two smashed cars with deployed airbags and evidence markers surrounding shell casings. Now police found the car, which is connected to the shooting, but the driver is not sitting in jail tonight. So many people want to know what happened and why. And the Night Beach Justin Case joins us now from the Fort Myers Police Department. Justin, you spoke with Bailey's mother. How's his recovery process going tonight? Well, police did give an update saying that he is in stable condition, but I spoke with Rasheen Bailey's mother at length today this afternoon, and she said that he's actually doing okay. She said he's doing pretty good. She said that he was able to walk around today. However, tonight he is still in the hospital. He is still recovering from multiple gunshot wounds. It's afternoon rush hour. The streets packed with people Thursday afternoon heading home for the dead. And with drivers everywhere, someone pulls out a gun and fires round after round at a car with Rasheen Bailey inside, striking him multiple times. You can see the evidence markers all over the roadway. Who would do this? Who would want to hurt Bailey? Why did this happen? The questions plaguing Bailey's family and police. All right, y'all, check this out. Get your chicken, get your line. We know Bailey is a local social media star. You may have seen his videos on Instagram or TikTok. He goes by the name Hood Fishing. Do that. Check it out. His family told us he competes in fishing tournaments all over the country, even taking first place at one in Oklahoma. His fishing fame even earning him a sponsorship with Bass Pro. The fishing star was also once a local football star. Here he is catching a deep pass in the playoffs for Cape Coral High School back in 2014. Plus, this is not Bailey's first brush with death. Four years ago, he was targeted in a drive-by shooting in Cape Coral. Passenger side got hit up, and we still alive, we still breathing. We all here. And Fort Myers police have not said how this SUV is connected, but we want to show you a full screen image of it right now because they want you to look at this and they want you to see if you have ever seen this SUV before because police need to speak with the driver or the people who were inside the SUV. Again, they have not said how they're connected to the shooting or they have not called them suspects. They just said that they need to speak with the people who were inside the SUV. If you know anything about the vehicle, if you know who was in there, you were urged to contact Fort Myers police or Crime Stoppers. Live on the Night Beat, Justin Case, Wink News.